Hi, today we are going to talk about Bill Me Later, a service offered by PayPal that gives your customers extended financing when they buy something on your website. In this specific video, I will show you how to add a Bill Me Later banner to your website using free tools. Some of the great things about Bill Me Later are you still get paid up front just like you would for any other PayPal transaction. This means a happy merchant. Your customers get extended financing. This means happy customers. And it's easy to implement, making you a happy web developer. You must have a PayPal business account to use this feature. To get started, make sure you're using Dreamweaver CS4 or newer, that you've installed free tools, our free Dreamweaver extension, and that you have your site defined in Dreamweaver and a page open that you want to add your PayPal Bill Me Later banner to. Place your cursor on your page or your template where you want to add the banner. Go up to the top menu and select Web Assist, PayPal, Bill Me Later banner. The first time that you open this wizard, you will need to enter your API credentials. You can click on the link included in this wizard to take you directly to your WebAssist account profile page. You will be prompted to sign in to go to your page. On your account profile page, scroll down to the downloads area and there will be a link to access your API credentials. Click on that link. First, copy your API user ID. You can select it and use Control c or Command-C if you're on a Mac. Go back to Dreamweaver and paste in the API user ID. Go back to your account and copy the security key and paste that into the wizard. Check the box that you agree to the terms of use and enter in your email address and click OK. This will populate your publisher ID in the next wizard. If you ever need to edit your credentials, you can just click this edit icon and go back to editing your API credentials and PayPal account email. Next, you're going to select where your banner goes. You choose that you want to put it on your website or in an HTML email. These generate different sets of code, so make sure you select the one you're using. And then, depending on which one you select, you have a bunch of choices for the size banner that you want. You can see a preview of it down here. Of course, the real banner will not have sample written across it on your website. And once you're done with that, you click OK. So you can see this sample placeholder is sitting here in the sidebar of my template now. Save your page. You can update files based on this template if you're updating this in a template. And to preview, click File, Preview in Browser, and select your browser. And here you can see the banner added to my sidebar. That's it for the PayPal banner. If you want to learn how to add Bill Me Later buttons to your PayPal Buy Now or Donation buttons, we have a tutorial for that on our website. Just go to the link that's entered into the video description. And as always, we offer free, unlimited technical support. Please visit us at www.webassist.com and we would be happy to assist you.